It's been so long since I've done a video. I'm just gonna start barking at this point. Good Wednesday morning. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Haven't done a video in a minute because I'm in the middle of like a themed vlog where I read all these old books from the 2010s. Basically historical fiction at this point and I wanted to see which of them are actually still good. That being said, I have taken an accidental like four month detour on just the Red Queen series. I've also been reading a lot of books on the side that don't pertain to anything and just not vlogging it. So I'm out of practice and also I've been extra, extra hard on myself about my appearance and my voice. I have a life update. <laughs> Witty Novels Atkinson is now a couponer. Let me explain. Hi, we're at my kitchen table because this is where my latest dragon hoard is. I somehow ended up on the side of TikTok where people went to Dollar General every Saturday and got like $25 worth of stuff for like $6. Guess what? Three months later, I'm going to Dollar General every Saturday and getting stuff. I'm not at a stockpile level yet. I know we all think of extreme couponers, but like this was free. These were a dollar for both. These made me money. This was free. It's so addicting and it's actually bad. I can't stop. And I'm just now realizing I didn't put on any moisturizer. But that being said, I have one thing I want to get a Dollar General today. Dr. Pepper is buy six for $3.50. When I get back home, I'll talk about what I've been reading. Oh my god, I wish I could be a car vlogger, but I have a 2010 Ford Fusion that's way too small for me, so my head's like in the ceiling. While I was there, I also picked up dishwasher detergent and two toothbrushes. I know no one cares about couponing, so I'm not going to go into the specifics. My total without coupons was supposed to be $18, and I got everything for $6.71, and then I submitted these for a rebate and got $4, which means I only paid $2.71 for everything. It's so addicting. Don't start doing it, because then you'll be like me. That's the couponing segment of this video. Is it time to get comfy and get reading? I agree. So the book I'm determined to finish because I've been reading it for months and I'm only like a third of the way in. Broken Throne. This started off so strong because I waited like a month between book four and this. By the way, this is the no series of novellas that's like book 4.5 in the Red Queen series. It's kind of told like a found history of this society, so you get more world building. And I know that the first two novellas were written and published like before the series was finished, so they're kind of prequels. There's three others after that. I have no idea what those are. Part of me is hoping they're a continuation because I thought the ending of book four was really weak. I gave all of them five stars, loved everything, but the ending of book four was like, huh? You're gonna write this strong plot throughout and leave us there? It felt so disconnected from the rest of the series. So I am just hoping and praying that those final stories are like a continuation. Right now I'm very much stuck because I am on Farley's story, who is a character that I really like. She's like a leader within the rebellion and it's her backstory. So I'm just gonna take this uh, novella at a time and go sit on my couch with my ice water and try and finally finish this. I haven't even touched this. But I just got a notification that I have an Amazon package. And I think we're about to have a belated Christmas book unboxing. Hi. Wow. It's a box for you. Oh, hi friend. I know that my sister ordered me some books belatedly for Christmas. Let's see if this is what that is. So now I have books one through nine. I don't even know there was a ninth one of the Bridgerton series. I read the first one this year and absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh, and these are such nice additions. They're so pristine. This is my comfort rewatch on Netflix. I could rewatch this series over and over despite the problematic bits of it. I'm just entranced by it. I cry every time. I laugh every time. Eloise is the love of my life. I have not seen season two because I was so torn if I should read it first or watch it first. Now I've canceled Netflix, so I've kind of shot myself in the front on both fronts. My goal was to 
own these and reread book one and annotate it and then jump into book two and annotate like you know the whole spiel but i just didn't want to splurge on all of them these were like 70 dollars for all of them and i'm so frugal now that i was like oh, this is the best present ever and i didn't realize the spines were so beautiful together this is my haul of the day and i'm never going to be happier than this moment all right hi time to report back with my reading update so it's now 4 15 which means four hours have elapsed and I've read nothing. I might have opened it, didn't start it. The God's honest truth is that this needs to be locked in a cage. I did everything except read. I cleaned a little bit, I watched YouTube videos. I just have a big mental block with reading. Yeah, I'm really trying to enjoy this story, but I have no idea what's going on and I'm so confused. Three days later. I know we're all shocked, disgusted, dismayed. I didn't read a single page. <laughs> it's been like two days. It sucks to be in a reading slump, but also want to film a vlog so bad. Cause for the life of me, you're not gonna get content. I'm just gonna be talking about things that don't matter, like couponing. But also some things that are totally dissimilar to couponing, like my Taylor Swift package that just got delivered. I ordered two things, and I'm pretty sure I heard that if your order was supposed to ship before the 15th, they'll re fully refund your order. So I just got back $75. Girl math! Anyway, I forgot that I ordered this. Like when they sent me the, oh, your package is almost there, I went home. But I am a 1989 girly. And before I recorded this, I did have to pause. <laughs> If Slut is not your second favorite vault song after Is It Over Now, I can't relate to you. So the first thing I got, and I keep looking at my water bottle cabinet, because tell me where I have space to put this. I got the 1989 water bottle that comes with a strap so I can take it places. But for being honest, I don't have any places outside my own house to take this. But the idea is fun. I'm going to be honest, I don't have high expectations for these, because I got my 1989 cardigan and it is falling apart. I wore it once. It's falling apart. Hey, see it? We love another hand wash bottle. However, I'm kind of into this because my Harry Styles cup is like a full wide mouth and every time I sip out of it, I feel like a toddler. And then I also got a shirt. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that this was on the back. I thought this was gonna be the front because the only thing it says on the front is just Taylor Swift. And her 1989 era, which not to be a hater, it was kind of like her hosted parties and starved my body era. So a little bit sad, but yeah. This was $75 of my life that I'll never get back. I don't make good financial decisions. That being said, do I just need to skip this novella to get through it? Is that what I have to do? I think my problem is I also have this for my library as an ebook. So every time I open it, I'm like, oh, let me check my ebook and see if there's a different page that I'm on. But then I go to get on my phone and I just don't, I don't go to the library app. I go to every other app on my phone except the library app. And also my apartment, it's so distracting to live in a pigsty, especially when you have to then record the pigsty and you're like, oh my God, it's so preppy in here. I'll record again when I actually get to this. See you in four months. I know last time I recorded, I said, hi, I'm not gonna record until I read my book. I didn't read my book. We did go see Wonka today in theaters. First and last Timothy Chalamet movie I'll be seeing because I was feeling sexually threatened by that screen the entire time. <laughs> sexually threatened? <laughs> I was like, if I don't have him, I'm going to start clawing at the screen. Meanwhile, oh my God, drier than the Sahara Desert. It was like, there was sand up my puss. No competition. <laughs> You are welcome to crush that man like the twig he is. I'm trying to! When he stood up on the fountain and you could just see that his plane was like, his ass was so flat. There was not a curve to his body. <laughs> I need him like, biblically. I was like, you look like a strip of bacon right now. Yes! I'm hungry! <laughs> but I can never watch a movie with him in it again. I think Call Me By Your Name would take me out. Is that on Netflix? Stop it. Or remote. <laughs> and I know you're all very shocked, surprised, but I oh, still yeah. have not read a single page. I actually had to walk physically into my library today and say, hi, this book is due today, but can you check it out for me again for another three weeks? And you had to ask two people that because the yeah. first lady I think, did it The right. first time I just made a friend. The second time they did what I asked them to do. She was like, I'm going to rub it against the counter. <laughs> we love librarians. Oh my God, she was so sweet. So I'm on page 134 before this part. How long is this part? 25 or 30 minutes. What book are you reading? Oh, I just read the entire Hunger Games trilogy. For the first time. I have read book one before, but books two and three I had never read. 
and I really want to see the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes movie because I'm a massive Rachel Zegler fan. Y'all are trying to get her canceled. I do not give a fuck. Can I curse on your channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you talk about monster fucking everything. <laughs> You're like cream pie milk farm. <laughs> That book got deleted from Amazon. It's a whole thing. Rest in peace. <laughs> I got my copy for it. was deleted though. <laughs> so anyways, read it for the first time. I wanted to see the movie for A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So the goal for this week was to read that trilogy. So all that to say, I'm reading A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Can I just say, I've been listening to the soundtrack of the movie. I was like, I'm going to wait. I'm, I'm going to save the soundtrack for marriage. Girl. <laughs> Well, because I wanted to see the movie first and like uh -huh, experience uh -huh. her singing the songs. But what I tell you all day today, I bet can't take my breath, can't take my humor. She sounds so good in that soundtrack. I'm like, I gotta finish this book right now so I can go see the movie. I'm gonna read my book I've been reading for three weeks about teenagers doing stuff. Yeah, sir. It's this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and read a page. Also, if you haven't noticed, I finished it. <laughs> Maybe this is not the best pose to show off like a new garment like <laughs> If anyone wants this this will be six hundred dollars in my tiktok shop <laughs> There's only one and there's a lot of loose threads and cat hair and food stains My hair looks so good. You haven't complimented my hair today Your hair looks great. Thank you. We'll see you in like an hour in the biggest plot twist of this vlog I read Thank oh, you. you need to put the sound effects where it's like, yay, yay! Oh, I was like, and that's the foley of me and Timothy Chalamet after the Wonka <laughs> premiere. Anyway, I was on page 133, now I'm on 168! So I'm doing the math. 30. 35? She's a math major. <laughs> um, two pages after I'd stopped reading for like two weeks, introduced a character that I am obsessed with, so I fully cried about it. Now, it's better. Like, I'm in the groove of reading, so I'm being kicked out, but I'm gonna go home and probably finish this chapter. I don't know, it's better. I still don't like this specific novella, but yeah, it's fine. What? I was gonna be like, I'm not kicking you out, but I kind of am. You wanna see Tootie? Oh, you always wanna see Tootie. Tootie, Tootie, Tootie. You're doing handsome with your eyeliner on. By the way, you still have a loaf of bread on your couch. Pita? Trying to keep her. <laughs> Did you say pita? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to 2013 where we get to make pita bread jokes. <laughs> pita bread! I just got it! Is uh, that why he's called pita? Is not officially. Oh. But did you see that she, when she narrated book one, she does Katniss in a like Appalachian accent? I don't even know what an Appalachian Like accent. Southern. Like I went down to see my sister Priam. I know there's like a map recently of where the districts are. Do you put District 12 in like North South Carolina area? There's a Tumblr meme that's my favorite where it's a map of the America, like of the US, mm -hmm. where each one is. But someone commented on it and was like, oh, this makes sense, but here's how I, I imagined it. And it was, each of them is a circle, the circle? and it's the capital. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how I imagined it. Yeah. I did not imagine them as U.S. regions. It did not occur to me. No, I, it was actually really interesting when she mentioned the Appalachian Mountains uh -huh. as part of like the coal mining thing. So uh -huh. I was like, oh. But they talk about like the country as if it's the only thing that exists in the world like they have no knowledge oh, of the outside world. I think world. it's hundreds of years in the future. Like Red Queen is like a thousand years in the future. I think Hunger Games has to be like a thousand years in the future. Again, I reiterate, would they not have knowledge of other countries? Not if you're like North Korea, like borders shut down, we Do lie you to think you. North Korea like North Korean children don't know about like no they really? have no education about the world they think that North Korea is like it they really? they have no idea what happens outside cuz you don't tell them for then for generations no one knows that's crazy right maybe i have the american centric knowledge and i'm like what's the outside world like i'll send you some yami park interviews <laughs> she wrote a book and now she's like super vocal about North Korea that's so she lives episode. in North Korea yeah she escaped through china Oh no, she has way. a book. I'll bring it to you. She oh has my a God. book. Wait, that sounds so interesting. And she yeah. does a lot of like podcast interviews. Because I think it's because for the longest time I did not understand what the hubbub was about North Korea. I, w I was waiting for a turn in the conversation to bring this up. I don't want to like <laughs> take away from North Korean people suffering. But do, the most important topic of conversation surrounding the Hunger Games mm. do you know their ship name? It's Penis. <laughs> Is it really? Peanut and Katniss, penis. 
Is there really? Or cat pee. <laughs> oh, why would I make that up right now? <laughs> With that, that's the wisdom that I impart. Here's your loaf of bread. Not Are you gonna yet. get beat for giving this to me? <laughs> I was actually gonna give that to your pigs out back, but you can have it for charity. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good night. Hi, in the plot twist of the century, it's 2 a.m. and I finished 20 more pages of this. Not a fan of the novella I just read. I'm not gonna say it's unnecessary, but I wouldn't consider it a prequel because it includes all the events from Red Queen. I think it's the perfect book to read between books one and book two. It didn't add a whole bunch for me. There were a bunch of different correspondences between all the rebel people which I thought was completely unnecessary like this all that's just like redacted and code words for people going places there were too many people that might have been in book one but I just did not care I liked Farley I liked the other characters that are in it I don't want to spoil it but don't care I didn't care. Still have no idea what to expect for the other stories in this. I'm really hoping it's like an epilogue or a continuation because book four sucked. To the point where now I've built that up to be my expectation of what I need it to be, but I doubt it is that. We'll see. I silly goosed too close to the sun and forgot. I also have a book haul. <laughs> I went to the library with Shelby today earlier and I don't think I talked about these, but I had one hold to pick up and then, as always, pretended it was a bookstore and shopped. The book I had on hold is The Serpent. Nope. Huh? Serpent and the Wings of Night? Dumb book title. I'm sorry. We're straying to- we just need to go back to A Court of Blank and Blank. Like, that was fine. All I know about it is like a TikTok romantic book about vampires. Shelby read this for a book club she has with her friends and did not like it. I guarantee there's a line of other little girlies trying to read this after me and I'm not gonna read it in time, but Shelby did read chapter one out loud to me on FaceTime and I was like, atmospheric slay so we'll see this is kind of dumb one of my professors that i'm friends with on facebook that i had in college posted her favorite books of 2023 which really i shouldn't have trusted because american dirt was also on it i've seen this book everywhere emily henry blurbed it and it's one of those like now and then kind of romances where over the years these people grew close and they became more than friends and then there was a big falling out and like what happened i haven't read just like a normal romance book in so long i know that's my own fault because i keep picking up porn instead of these but the rest of these were also romance so one of them is curves for days but it's about a girl who buys a house and her contractor who's renovating everything is sexy so it's about them too and then the other three books i got are all part of a series the bromance book club i got books one through three i have read this one and just thought it was okay it was like cute and fun like three or four stars everyone i know raves about the sequels not necessarily the sequels but just like the series as a whole and i only ever was interested in this one so I thought I'd just reread this and continue. I went shopping. I got them. I'm just a girl. That's all. Good morning and happy new year to those who celebrate. I'm EB because it's like 3 a.m. But before I went to bed, my daily update is that we got through one more novella in this collection. Not really sure why this third one was there. It's a completely unrelated so far storyline just about characters from places that we've never seen family members of royal lineages that kind of don't matter it was fine it was still like easy and fun to read i think i'm gonna give it like four stars yes i'm gonna read them individually so well i was gonna say so that my 2023 goal would be higher but i guess now this would count for 2024 but whatever this final novella is what i've been craving and i like wanted to scream when i turned to the page it is now like after the events of book four, here's what's going down. I have no clue at which point it's gonna transition into the characters that are like the main plot points. Finally, some good fucking food. And I still have like 200 pages left. <laughs> I'm about to fall asleep. Hopefully I'll talk to you tomorrow. The next day. I mean this most disrespectfully. Victoria Avery, what the fuck? I was not gonna finish this tonight. It's 2.30 a.m. and I have work at nine. Oh my God. Oh my god, it was everything I wanted. This is the ending that I wanted in Warstorm and we did not get, so I'm so happy right now. Just so you know, the cap is on because this is what's happening underneath. I think it's probably more attractive to have this covering that up. Holy shit. The novella I was reading before was just about Evangeline, who I love. Excuse me, I'm recording. Thank you. The next chapter was called like fire something. And I went, um, if I turn the page and it says chapter one, Cal, I'm gonna lose my mind. Guess what? 
chapter one Mare. So I knew we were getting like the final conclusion of Mare and Cal's storyline. No one talked to me. It was so perfect. I love a full circle ending and it came full circle. I really like this series because the villain is not just a starkly evil person. I mean, yeah. He does evil things but there's so much gray area of but he was also beloved before he turned bad so it's such an interesting book i'm still so blown away by how much i love this series is this entire book worth it take it or leave it i think the two novellas that it starts out with are probably not necessary even though the first one which is about cal's mom is referenced a couple of times and i think it's pretty interesting farley's is definitely skippable i don't know why there's a random story in the middle about ash and larissa they might be in the series and i just missed them kind of didn't care about that even though it was nice to have some more context but these last what 200 pages i feel like should have been in Warstorm. Maybe they just like the editor was were like, we cannot pull a Sarah J. Mass Bible's pages and make this book 900 pages long. But this belonged in Warstorm because the ending of that book was so terrible. Like this needed to be there to, for it to make sense. And even when you think it's done, there's still a couple of snippets of other stories. And then there's like a writer. So the whole book is, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. It's like, a novella bind up about a series that no one has read since 2015 but shut up and listen this whole book is framed by like historian writing being like the kingdom of norda was established in 380 and it ends with the same kind of historical lens but what's gonna happen in the future <laughs> I'm really not okay about it. It was, I, I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I think I'm going to give it four stars just because the middle of it took me so long to read, but the ending is so worth it. Uh, it's just, it's what I wanted and what I needed. So I'm happy. I mean, shit, I was going to finish off this vlog tomorrow, but we're here. Yeah. For the foreseeable future, I will be thinking about this series. And this was my biggest plot twist of the year is that I enjoyed it as much as I do. Oh, I need another tissue. One thing about me is I'm a crier at epilogues and ending of series. It's always so bittersweet. Yeah, if you haven't read this series, I'm not gonna sit here and talk you into it because it'll be in my favorites video of the year, which is probably gonna come out right after this one. And I'll save the spiel for that. So in closing, this has been a vlog where I attempt to read one book. I would argue not even one book, like half of a book. The Herculean effort it takes to enjoy literature when you're someone who has TikTok downloaded on your phone. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for dealing with this. <laughs> I will see you next time again. It'll be my favorites of the year, so good stuff coming up. Bye!